Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name's Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. I use spirits, my intuition, and the tarot to communicate energies to you guys. Beautiful viewers, today's reading, we'll be taking a look at the connection on your mind. And we'll be taking a look at the person you came here about and what's going to happen next in this connection. Will this person take action or how far into the connection can we take a look at the potential of where the connection is going all right so we have four options to choose from option number one is the murder of crows tarot option number two is the crow tarot i know i know those of you guys obsessed with crows you might be deciding between one and two could certainly be that one and two energy might be connected or reversed in some way option number three we have the phrenic pinter tarot and option number four we have the field tarot so take a look at these four piles use your intuition to call you into whichever one's speaking to you keep in mind sometimes we tap into our own energy meaning the predominant energy will be yours not your person so your person's energy could be in another pile uh, and sometimes multiple energies come through one pile, which could be you and your person. So you, you might need to do some role reversal depending on how it comes out. But um, the energy should should feel right. You shouldn't make anything fit. And the timestamp will be in the description box and in the pinned comment below. It'll take you directly to your pick. I will see you there. Hello, my beautiful pile one. You picked the murder of crows tarot. And we're taking a look at the connection on your mind, the person on your mind, and what's going to happen next. Is this person going to take action? And we'll take a look at the potential of the connection to see how far into the future we can take a look at what's going to happen in this connection overall. All right. So like I mentioned in the intro, sometimes we tap into our own energy, meaning that this reading is going to sound predominantly like your energy. If that's the case, your person's pile could certainly be elsewhere. All right. Um, if there's multiple energies coming through here, it just, and I say it's your person and it's you, vice versa, just mm, crisscross rolls if you have to, but do not force anything to fit um, energetically. All right, so we'll ask Spirit for a clear and concise message here for Pile 1. For the greatest and highest good of Pile 1, Spirit. What is going to happen next in this connection that Pile 1 came here about? What is going to happen next? Thank you so much. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message. And thank you so much. Pile one for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. I'm truly blessed. Thank you so much. All right, I'll be reading them as they come out. We have the Page of Cups in the reverse. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. We have the Emperor. One more spirit. Yes. Okay. And then we have the Five of Swords. All right. So why is this Page of cups here in reverse spirits we have the three of wands is that two no that's one we have the king of pentacles in the reverse why is this six of swords here we have the page of pentacles we have the fool in the reverse and then finally why is this five of swords here we have the nine of swords in the reverse okay bottom of the deck energy seven of wands and a pull some oracles as well a little Leonard Mon cards here spirit clear and concise message what's happening next here we have the key all right and i'm gonna pull one of these we have five trusting hearts. Listen to your inner wisdom. And one of these. What's happening next in this connection? Freedom. 21. 
The energy of freedom supports our sense of limitless possibility and potential boundless expression and bold exploration. Okay. Just give me a minute to tap into the energy here and get into your reading. Why not use the feather? I'm going to use the feather today. Okay. Let's see. What do we have? Okay, this is interesting. It's like partial story here. I, I don't know if I'm going to pull so much tarot. Um, again, I wasn't planning on doing too many layers. We'll see if it comes through. But I feel in this pile, there is an energy. Um, I'm getting multiple. It's kind of a mix. So I, I don't know. For some of you guys, it could be that this person has not yet been able to open up emotionally and express themselves emotionally. Okay, so maybe you don't. This person hasn't even told you how they feel about you. For some of you guys, if this person has already communicated to you how they feel about you, then this person could be owing you an apology for something that has already happened in this connection. And uh, for both of those scenarios, this is someone who might have not have committed to this connection, who might have not have showed up to this connection um, with a long-term vision of what it is that they're planning on doing. So what's going to happen next in this connection? I feel like there is going to be this person um, coming forward in some way here, okay? And I do feel as though there's also a, a, a disappointment here, I, I feel, because I feel like this person is going to come forward, but I feel like they aren't acknowledging or expressing kind of... Um, where it is that they want this connection to go so much or how committed they are to a long-term vision of this connection. So I feel like whatever the challenge was in your connection with this person, okay, be it, I don't know, like for some of you guys, this person might just enjoy their freedom here, okay, or their independence. Um, and so they're unwilling to commit to a connection. For some of you guys, this person might just, again, fear opening up their emotions in some way. So Whatever scenario you fit into here, maybe all of the above, um, I feel like there's lots of potential here. And, and I feel this person understands there's lots of potential here. And, and I feel as though you kind of understand um, what it is that you want from this connection. Because I do feel like you've been invested here, um, putting in all that you can to make something work. But you feel like this person has been removed or not showing up. So... I feel like this person comes forward here, um, but I feel like they still don't um, acknowledge, address, or see that long-term plan for this connection here, um, or at least you you don't see them come forward with rectif rectification of whatever that issue was. So there is... Um, a challenge here that I see. I feel like this person is in self-sabotage mode in some way, or at least the way that they are is going to cause a lot of challenge here in this connection. And so uh, I feel like maybe whatever used to really be triggering in some way here, uh, mentally stressful to you, um, I, I feel like it doesn't surprise you. I feel like it doesn't surprise you when this person does the same thing, goes back to the same thing. Um, I feel like what Spirit's showing me here is that you get closer to understanding something about what you want. You get closer to understanding something about what you need. You get closer to learning here um, through experience that, you know, if someone does not want to change or want to commit in some way because you know they're unable to or they think they're unable to um or provide you with what it is that you need to flourish or the potential of themselves in a connection then i, I feel like you see this or at least it doesn't it doesn't 
trigger you in the same way. So I do feel like you're learning um, how to how to um, get out of a connection, what it is that you need. So I do feel like a lot of you guys are, are getting empowered here, okay? Um, because I think at one point maybe you didn't feel so empowered and I feel like this person is coming through here um, in page energy and I feel like you're more evolved here and you're coming through as an emperor energy so I feel like you know what you want I feel a you know a very um strong personality here when it comes to the emperor i mean it's divine masculine energy but you don't necessarily have to be a uh, masculine here so much as someone who knows what they want is in power of their own sort of house they know what they need they know where they're going they have a long-term vision they do what's best what's right for them whereas i feel this person is not so much at that level because I, I feel like they don't have a long-term vision or plan and they see this connection as an opportunity and so i i feel as though you feel like this person has wasted time and i do feel in sense that this person has wasted a lot of time because there's lots of potential here that they haven't been able to fulfill and so i feel like there's still struggle here there's challenge here there's an inability to move on from this because I feel like you you understand what you want. And you want this person to take a chance, take a risk on this connection. And I don't feel that this person has, nor do they. And it just repeats or stays in some challenging energy. So whatever anxiety, stress you have in this connection remains something that you see clearly. Or you see how it's it doesn't align with you. Um, I think you see it already, but maybe it becomes more apparent to you. Um, what should we pull, Spirit? I, I can't leave this like this. I, I gotta, I gotta pull some more just to see. Um, you know what? What does this mean then? Like, Spirit, can we see? Because the next action here, I do feel like this person is gonna come around okay so i don't know necessarily whether this person you know is gonna come forward like i said with an apology i don't feel that is the case i just feel like somehow they're coming forward here um but they haven't done any groundwork and things kind of remain the same this is all what i see here uh, but energetically i feel you're not in the same energy because i feel like you're tired and i feel like that you seeing them in the same energy just Kind of solidify something here for you or makes you realize maybe that you're worth a little bit more here than hanging around not knowing what's what's going on here okay so let's see i'm going to pull some more and say uh, spirit can we see as far down the pipe as we can here in this connection what is the potential here in this connection thank you spirits all right so we have the sun and reverse i don't think i read the signs here for you let me just do that so we have aries and we have virgo taurus capricorn energy and now we have leo coming out what is the future potential of this connection we have the knight of swords we have the eight of swords we have justice that's libra energy We have the Page of Wands. I've seen every single page in this spread. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And the bottom of the deck, we have the well, we have the Queen of Pentacles under that, which we saw the King of Pentacles. So divine counterparts here. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Earth energy, and then we see the King of Swords. Okay. Um, interesting something was coming through I, I feel like um 
I don't feel like this connection is over. I, I feel like, you know, despite what's going on here, I feel like energy is determined to overcome something, but I, I feel like, you know, the challenge is to overcome this not being on the same page here, finding balance. So I feel both of you guys are needing to find a middle ground here between each other, you know, and, um, And, and what Spirit is showing me is that until experiences happen here through this connection, that um, it will be a challenge, that it will be a challenge here. So, I mean, like energy, we can't, you know, go down um, super far until things shift energetically and people make the right decisions here. And I feel like mentally there's limitation here and it's causing conflict in this connection because i i do feel like you guys are not seeing the same thing here or what it is that you guys are, are wanting to work towards but i feel both of you guys see this connection as an opportunity so I feel like your person is coming up with a, a limitation here about, I guess, what it is that they're able or capable of doing in this connection. There's a massive misconception that they have here that keeps them stuck. And so I feel like it doesn't bring balance to this connection in a way that it should, because once this is realized, once this is identified, then I feel like the balance can be restored in this connection. But that's not what's happening here, okay, um, yet. And I don't see that this is happening in the next little while because it's coming in the reverse here. So let's see what spirit wants to show. We have magic, we have caution, and we have hunger. I'm going to pull one more. We have growth. Yeah, so we did see the ten of pentacles. I feel like there's lots of potential. And I feel like there's lots of opportunity here. I feel both of you guys know it. But there is caution coming up here, and I feel like the caution here is there's a lot still of lessons here to be learned on either side here. And I feel like both of you guys have whatever lesson it is that you guys are needing to learn. Um, there's a, a good reason why you guys have been brought together divinely to experience this connection. Um and to go through challenges, you know, um, that provide lessons so that you guys can experience whatever that experience is and karmically fill out whatever cycles you're needing to in your life. And I feel that's exactly what you guys are going through here. So, you know, is this connection over in any way? No, there's a lot of potential. In fact, I, I, I don't feel as though this connection is going to end, um, anytime soon but I do feel like there's there's stuckness here but it it's kind of counteracted with the passion to keep going in this connection or to fight through any sort of obstacles here um, because I feel both of you guys are determined I feel like there's two energies here that want to make things work so it's, it's kind of um, a frustration because until you guys meet a middle ground or figure out how to get there, and I guess that's the lesson is learning how to get there together, there is struggle. There is, you know, needing to always come back to self and ask self whether we are acting in the highest good of each other before we you know, um, do something here that might be hurtful to the other person. So yeah, temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Um, so temperance is all about alchemizing how we show up so that we can take whatever energy is being presented to us and make something of it um, in order for two people to come together to 
create something profitable, you know, and I say profitable in, in, in a union, profitable in a creation, having to create something together rather than being on two separate wavelengths that doesn't create cohesion and union. So I feel like it's imbalanced right now. You guys are on two different pages. Um, you guys aren't creating union and cohesion. I feel like it's going to be stuck like this for some time because there's lessons here needing, excuse me, to be learned. And um, okay, spirits coming through with what it is. I, I feel like your lesson here is with this trusting heart. Okay. Listen to your inner wisdom. I feel like there's you really, really needing to trust how your heart is feeling about what you've experienced here and be honest with this. And I feel like this is a challenge for you to be in line with the truth of what you've experienced, be in line with how you're feeling here. And I feel like your person has a lesson in freedom here and what it means to be free and independent and be able to have connection because we could be autonomous and still be in connection and be, you know, parallel in a, in a connection, both remaining of our own identity and still connect but I feel this person is most likely somebody who, um, yeah, has a fear of commitment because I do feel like this person might understand that to be limiting to them. And that could be this eight of swords that I said, that's really limiting them, you know, that if they commit to this connection, they're stuck in some way, which is a falsity because I feel like, you know, this obviously stems back to childhood. Um, and, and an understanding here, so an experience needing to happen here that that is not the case, you know, um, and why this would trigger this person. So I feel like both of you guys are growing independent of each other by experience with each other, but there's still a desire to work together or to come to some sort of understanding here. And yeah, I don't see that it's super... Um, painful here but I do feel with the caution like it, it's just really triggering here because I feel like every time there's an obstacle here there's a need to review resolve and then lessons learned and then go in inward and really understand you know what the lesson is that you're experiencing here so you can learn from it and move forward both the king and the queen of pentacles in reverse I, I just feel like you guys have not yet been able to come together in you know, and committing yourselves to a future with one another here. And so uh, I feel like it's impacting the connection in the most significant way. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, that's the burden, that's a, a heaviness here, um, not being able to carry on no more. So I, I feel like at some point, someone's not going to be able to carry on no more to create a shift here in this connection carry the way it has been, you know, and if it's you here, it could be at some point you're going to have enough because your heart tells you what it is that you want or deserve. And I feel like the heaviness of this person, um, you know, uh, understanding that they might not need connection in a certain way in order to be free. Um, I feel that's going to burst as well in some way because the truth has a way of coming out here. Um, and so neither of you guys seem to have full happiness or potential reached here because you guys are working on finding the solution, finding the key, finding the answer, how to come together, how to work together, how to grow together here. Okay. So that's your reading. Um, hopefully this helped you. If you're drawn to another pile, then I will see you there. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pile two. You picked the crow tarot. Absolutely beautiful. We're looking at the connection on your mind and the person you came here about and we're looking at what's going to happen next in this connection is this person going to take action what is the potential um, what's the energy kind of coming in next for this connection so i'm going to read them as they come out i'm going to ask spirit for a clear and concise message for pile two spirit clear and concise for the greatest and highest good of pile two going to happen next here in this connection energetically and please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message thank you so much pile two for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time I am truly blessed thank you so so much all right wow okay we will
will be reading these, but I do feel this is there. All right. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. Um, actually, before I flip all these, the Hierophant flipped first. It revealed itself, and generally what I take with cards that show themselves is something that might be apparent to you. And everything that's kind of flipped the other way is maybe unseen things that you're not quite seeing or know. All right, so with the Hierophant, this is a higher level of commitment. This is a greater understanding here. This is also someone's lifestyle, um, their beliefs, their value system, their structure, their ideology. So we'll pull some Oracle as well. Okay. Perfect. Okie dokie. Let's see what we have. So we have the world. We have the page of wands in reverse. We have the knight of swords in reverse. We have the knight of wands in reverse. We have the three of cups. We have seven of cups in reverse. We have the page of pentacles in reverse. Okay, two pages, two knights. Interesting. We have the nine of cups in reverse, and then we have the six of cups in reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the high priestess, and I'm going to do it like that so we can see what's underneath that if we need. High priestess, Pisces energy. <coughs> okay, um, with the oracles, we have the letter. Interesting. We have commitment. That was the first card that came out. Card 13, frequency of commitment supports our ability to devote ourselves in all aspects of our being with the unwavering belief. And then we have trapped heart, step outside your comfort zone, number 17, or the number 8. 8 is the strength card in the tarot, all about facing fears. 13 is the death card in the tarot, which is all about transformation, massive uh, transformations. The death card here, Scorpio energy. So what do we have? We have Taurus. I do feel Scorpio here. And like I said, Pisces coming through with the high priestess. Okay, so this is interesting because one and two, uh, I feel pal one was also about commitment here. This is also giving me the same vibe. You know, there's, so, there's a heavy emphasis here on... <clears throat> Somebody going outside of their comfort zone in order to commit. Okay, somebody communicating exactly what their intention is here on commitment and following their intuition. And so I do feel like your person, um, I'll read it as your person. You could flip roles if it's you. But I, I feel like your person here has not yet stepped forward, has not yet communicated. And I feel like it's keeping things from progressing. It's keeping things from getting deep. It's keeping things kind of light. And, and potentially this person might be more focused on other things that don't necessarily matter with this Three of Cups. This is third party energy, okay? I don't necessarily feel another person here at all. Um, but I feel like maybe a person's priorities are a little out of whack, okay? And they might have a lifestyle here that doesn't line up. So they're needing to conclude something here. And I feel like this is a massive transformation in their life and that they're having to explore outside of their comfort zone. And then I, I feel like you're kind of in the wings here, expecting some sort of communication for this person to get out of confusion, for them to, you know, commit and not leave the back door open here with the Seven of Cups. Because this is not prioritizing, not knowing what option to choose. And it is in the reverse. So... I do feel like, you know, this person here is having to work through a massive spiritual transformation, get in tune with their high priestess, which is their intuition. What is best for this person? How do they move forward? Where do they plant their seed? You know, what sort of opportunity will they pursue? Now, I do feel like this person has a lot of passion in this connection that they haven't fulfilled, they haven't chased up on, they haven't communicated, they haven't communicated heavy truths here either, and they have not planted the seed for the future here with this Page of Pentacles in reverse. So Six of Cups is my soulmate card. I don't feel as though this person is able to um, 
I don't feel as though this person is just able to close the door to this connection, okay? I do feel like this person is going to have to figure out um, how to deal with the connection with you and, and what this experience has put in front of them is how do they step outside of their comfort zone and a big part is releasing a part of them their their world okay this is a person place or thing of the past that has them stuck so is it you know their their childhood is it where they live is it how they live how they've been living for a very long time you know this person is stuck and this is a spiritual change here for this person to have to really transform out of whatever stuck energies they're in in order for them to experience emotional fulfillment in their life in a connection and i feel you're the the soulmate you're the connection here but i don't feel this person has been able to emotionally experience you and bring emotional fulfillment to themselves because they're still hanging on to something of the past here okay so family friends things of the past um some of you guys, it could be a connection of the past if they haven't healed from it and it's got them stuck on this connection, you know, that connection, whatever it was. Uh, not necessarily that this person wants to get back with whatever person's here, but, but what it is is that this person experienced something here and they're unable to move on from it because emotionally it has them stuck. They remember something here, okay? And, you know, their heart remembers something here. Maybe mentally they don't, but emotionally, something's caused them to get stuck. Um, and I feel like they're needing to step outside of their comfort zone, you know? Get outside of that pain. Uh, understand uh, that this connection and to risk moving forward and to commit to something here would mean them letting go and having to deal with something here that's they have not yet been able to deal with and close out that chapter in their life. So I feel like your person here is giving off a, a sort of a more selfish energy. You know, they might just be caring about, you know, what is in the moment for them right now. I also feel with all these cups, you know, these are all my drinking cups. Like someone who might have a drinking um, addiction here or just use it as distraction. Okay, three of cups is definitely party card here. A lifestyle of partying, seven of cups always gives me that as well. Nine of cups is the glutton card. And then we have the six of cups here. So I do feel like there is distractions, okay? And that could be the third party is like your person might be, um, you know, a hedonist here. They might be just using things to distract, to keep them happy in some way, but it's superficial happiness. It's not this connection. And so that it keeps this person from moving forward, from committing, from understanding what it is that they need to do in this connection. Although intuitively, I feel this person does know. And I feel like it is heavily uh, stuck to their... Um, their upbringing or their ideology and something that they're stuck on. Okay, so, you know, what's going to happen next? Well, I feel as though this person is working through uh, spiritual change is how I feel. They're, they're wrapping up a cycle right now. And I don't know that this person has communicated this to you. I don't feel they've communicated it to you. I feel like this person is doing this. And, you know, with this letter here, maybe there is intention here to communicate to you once this is done once they're able to break free and uh, outside step outside their comfort zone but i i don't feel like your person has explained or uh, communicated to you yeah it's like the sun hasn't risen yet you're in the dark about this you're not in the know about this the sun is still rising this is happiness joy contentment this is the most positive card you can get in the tarot in the reverse um you know it's like it, it hasn't yet reached its potential. I mean, it's still joyful here. It could also be, you know, um, ego in, in the dark attribute here. And so if your person is working on their ego, they're doing shadow work, they're doing ego work, this is something that they're working on. And therefore, it might take some time for the sun to rise for them to conclude because this is a very long cycle confirmation for some of you guys if this is your person you guys might be at a long distance here from your person with the world card okay you might have met them on the internet uh potentially for some of you guys i'm going to pull some oracles here and see um actually before i pull the oracle 
I'm going to pull just one more layer here and see what is this person's then like next sort of action. Like what's going to be the, the potential here in this connection? Because I mean, right now their action is, their next action is, um, I'm going to read it like that. Their next action here is them going through this, this huge spiritual shift. Okay. They're trying to figure out parts of their life here that I think they've been in for a very, very long time. So we're asking the potential of this connection. What is it? As far as we can see, I don't know why all these cards are coming all in the, in the dark. I feel like you guys are in the dark. They're seeing sun in reverse. I feel like you guys do not know. I mean, you're here, obviously you don't know, but like you really do not know because this person might have not as communicated anything to you about what their plan plans are, what they're doing, what they're trying to detach themselves from, what they're shedding or releasing here in order for them to become available, in order for them to be able to commit. Um, I, I don't know that necessarily that this person even knows that they're moving towards this so much in order to communicate it. I feel this is something that's happening organically with this person. What do we have? We have the hangman. Yeah, this is, your person's getting enlightened, but there's no movement. The hangman is in limbo. So I feel like this connection's in limbo. I feel like this person hasn't progressed. I feel like they've been stuck, like we saw, right? Like they haven't been able to move forward. They want to, but they're stuck, but they're getting enlightened and the sun was in reverse. So I feel like this person's amidst enlightening, amidst connecting with their intuition, amidst understanding what they're supposed to be doing in their life in order for them to become available to commit to this connection, whatever commitment means to you guys in this connection. Knight of Pentacles, very, very slow, stuck energy with the Knight of Pentacles, but this is moving forward with something you know with an offer worth having because the knight of pentacles is a very solid offer something practical and finds its way there but it's very very slow it's slow and steady wins the race i feel like this person has been on this journey has not yet been able to build with you create with you three of pentacles in reverse this is you know having to build something with someone else we could not on our own so I think this person understands on their own, they're not able to, to build something that they're wanting to or feeling the desire to here, um, unless they're able to cooperate and come together to work with you in a practical way. Page of Swords, that's communication. That is having um, the questions, being curious about the truth. That's getting enlightened doing the understanding that we have to do in order to get clear the shadow work nine of swords and this is anxiety this is dark night of the soul stuff okay with the death card we saw 13 and this this is telling me this is um yeah somebody who is going through a dark night of the soul a spiritual shift having to ascend here but do a lot of shadow work really reflect here and there's a lot of anxiety here with this person okay a lot of anxiety so they might be shutting you out because they're not quite sure how to step forward at this time yeah this is inability to prioritize they have not yet chose this connection they they had this connection is very imbalanced here and so i feel like this person has not yet been able to until they go through dark night of the soul, until they do the spiritual work, until they start getting very clear and certain about, you know, their direction. Yes, again, seven of swords, not being very clear under the radar. So let's flip these, but I feel like we, we saw as far as we can see, yeah, ace of pentacles in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse. Yes, yes. All confirming this is pretty much the exact same thing here. It's like, as far as I can see here in the potential, it's like this person is amidst the spiritual transformation of themselves, okay? Maybe their whole life is getting flipped upside down, an ideology, and that's why Hierophant was first to flip here, because that's the basis of this connection, and that's why commitment also came out here, and this is Six of Cups in reverse. It's like their lifestyle, their ideology, what they grew up believing here is being turned on its access here. So I feel like this person understands this and is in some some deep deep soul work some some soul work that has them feeling very anxious 
and has them not sharing, has them self-sabotaging, um, had them self-sabotaging in this connection, but also just being sort of really closed off to you so that they could sort through it on their own, doing it on their own, but they have not yet prioritized or been able to provide a long-term commitment. From an Ace of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles, it's like plant the seed in order to have this long-term committed family um plan here with this ten of pentacles this is long term this is two families coming together and building something for the future in a practical way and i see lots of pentacles so i mean commitments you know um i get this person has not yet been able to show a level of commitment for the long term that's exactly how i feel here like where are things at here in in a practical way in this connection so I do feel like this person, you know, different from one, I, I feel like this person might have expressed to you how they feel, um, but hasn't been able to act, action or act and do what it is that they're supposed to do. And neither have they communicated what their long-term vision is here. So they're figuring this out, clean of swords in reverse. So I, I do feel, yeah. You're in the dark, uncertain, unclear. Where's this going? You don't know. You're not sure if you should, you know, um, release your boundaries. Maybe some of you guys are very upset about this, or maybe you guys have gotten to arguments about this, and maybe you guys are separated because I do feel for some of you guys, um, you know, what's if you're looking for reconciliation, it's definitely coming. I feel like your person is going to come forward with a reconciliation, but I, I do feel as though it is not going to bring you certainty right away because I feel like this person is stuck having to sort through this. So they're sorting through this. They're getting enlightened as you guys carry on. Um, and I do feel like you're going to hear from this person if you haven't, you know. Uh, and I do also feel like if you are in communication with this person, I feel like you will hear about some sort of game plan here once this person understands things a little bit better, but they're not quite there yet. Okay, they're, they're learning to step outside of their comfort zone. And I feel like you're being called to step outside of your comfort zone too, right? Like how much of yourself are you able to step outside of uh, in order to love unconditionally someone here who might have experienced a different sort of lifestyle than you without selling yourself, okay? So let's pull Oracle cards and see what we see here spirits what is the potential here in this connection what is does pile two need to know about this connection what is coming in energetically in this connection we have creativity we have surrender and it was in the reverse um although i'm going to read them in their upright i feel yeah, like this person is learning to release, to shed, to clear the, the playing field of anything that doesn't work in their life. Intuition, we saw the High Priestess. I think I covered her up there. High Priestess energy with the intuition. Okay, um, that comes through very, very heavy. I feel like you guys are very intuitive as well. Space, I feel one more. And energy. Okay, so... Yeah, this is, this is so, so, so I love when spirit confirms because it's exactly this. I, I feel like you guys right now with creativity and this three of pentacles, this is kind of same thing. It's being able to create, build together with each other. Okay. I think that's the main goal is like, what sort of future can you guys create together for the long term, right? And have to commit to a project, to someone who's not showing up in some way. So I feel like your person is needing to surrender things in their life that's unhealthy. Needing to surrender beliefs and systems, structures, things that have held them back here. And this takes a lot of going inwards, okay? With the intuition, trusting in spirit, trusting in, you know, what they know to be right. In order to make space here to start from a clear sort of... Um, uh, energy that's not tainted with conditioning, that's not tainted with an understanding, that's not tainted with an ideology of something that is destructive or limiting. So there's lots of energy in this connection. And when I say energy, I feel like, you know, there's, there's definitely um, potential to create. There's lots of heavily charged energy in this connection that is kind of sitting there waiting to be taken waiting to create waiting to 
go from from seed to full fruit here um but there needs to be kind of a clearing of the playing ground with the space and that's what this death thing is all about here okay and this nine of swords is like they have to go through a process so if this is your energy then your person could certainly be elsewhere um you might want to go check out another pile but this is what i have here for you guys pile number two um yeah that's all i have so hopefully this resonated for you leave a comment leave a like i'm still doing a free private reading giveaway for every month this year um, from my subscribers who like comment and subscribe to my videos i will pick at random all right i will see you soon bye hello my beautiful pile three you picked the forensic pinters tarot and we are looking at the connection you came here about the person you came here about and specifically what's going to happen next all right um what's their next action what is the potential within this connection so if this sounds more like your energy your person's energy could be elsewhere okay that's quite common here and if i do pick up two energies in this reading and i say it's you and it's your person just crisscross the roles make it um applicable to how whose energy is what but do not force or change energy to fit into your situation all right so let's ask spirit for a clear and concise message here for the greatest and highest good of pile three spirit what is going to happen next energetically here in this connection is there a person going to take action what is going to happen next thank you so much spirit for this clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile three please protect me and the viewer as i channel this message we have the moon in reverse that's pisces energy All right, thank you so much, Pal3, for allowing me to tap into your energy. I'm so grateful. Thank you. We have Five of Cups. We have Five of Swords in reverse. We have the Six of Cups in the upright. Why is this moon energy here, Spirit? We have Seven of Wands in reverse. We have the World in reverse. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Ace of Cups, two moons, two bums. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So two aces. I'm going to pull some oracles as well, the one and one card. Spirit, what is going to happen next here in this connection? We have stars. Six of Cups coming out here uh, for a second time with the Six of Hearts. And then we have the number 16 here, or the number 7. Pull a few more oracles. For Pile 3 Spirits, what do we have? We have Divine Connected Heart, number 34. Or the number 7, it says, Meet Your Karma. And one of these. I feel actually two of these. One more spirit for pile. Okay. All right, pile three. Just give me a bit here to flip your cards over. We have commitment coming out. This came for pile two. Um, the frequency of commitment supports our ability to devote ourselves in all aspects of our being with, sorry, being and with unwavering belief. Number 13 is the death card in the tarot. And then we have transparency. The energy of transparency supports our expansion toward a higher vibrational state of being with more insight, honesty, and clarity. Card 43. Interesting. We have 34, 43 mirrored numbers here. Okay. Um, which is uh, generally in connections, soul connections, you do a lot of mirroring with your person. So uh, this, you guys might be mirroring your person in some regard, okay? Um, and what that means is energetically, you guys are kind of doing the same thing energetically, okay? Not necessarily the, the same types of things so much as the energy. 
let's see if we can pick up whatever this is trying to tell us as well. So just give me a second to tap into your energy here or the energy and then I will let you know what I see here. Okay. It's a simple message here. Yeah, I feel like it has been a like a lot of pain for you. I do feel it's been very painful, but I, I feel it's painful also for your person. So I think it's important for you to know because I feel you're really, really, really hurt by this person's actions. Okay, and I feel like you're completely upside down here is how I feel because of something that this person did. And I feel like it's hurt you and nobody won in this case. So this person most likely did something really stupid, okay? Um, because it, it self-sabotaged for them and it ruined it for you. And so they're hurt. I feel this person understands this. They probably don't know why they did this. It was very hurtful. And I feel like this person was cowardly. And they probably most likely just didn't even explain themselves. They probably didn't even try to make things better. They could have just ghosted in, in some case here. But I, I feel like, you know, you weren't sure, like, what was going on here. So I feel like you had no closure with the world in reverse here, you weren't sure, like, are you guys done done? Is this person done done? Like, why they did what they did? They offered nothing here. And so it's been such a painful experience. I feel like soulfully, this connection is very, very deep. You guys are mirroring each other in the way that this person has a karmic lessons here to be learned and how they behave. Okay, how they show up, what it is that they've done, the pain that they've caused you, but also the pain they caused themselves. So I feel like there's a lot of childhood traumas here that both you guys are having to kind of take a look at here. I mean, them, it could certainly be triggered um, by their childhood wounds that have made them self-sabotage in some way. But I also feel like it might have triggered something within you because I do feel like there is mirroring happening here. Um... You know, and, and I do feel as though your energy is coming through as someone who potentially wanted commitment. You potentially wanted to start anew here. I feel there's a, a new energy here of you wanting, you know, kind of a, a new life or just starting a, a brand new in some way, but having something to commit to in a solid, practical way. I feel like you had a, a long-term hope, vision of something. I'm getting Aquarius energy here from this card where also, like I said, Pisces was coming through. So, and Scorpio. So, yeah, like, I feel like, you know, you want a long-term commitment. You want a connection here. But at the same time, it's like in this case, I feel like you never got closure of something here or you're not sure how to move on from something that's hurt you really, really bad, you know? Well, and there goes my email confirming. So I feel like it's been very painful here, this person's actions. It's like, how do you move past this, you know? And how do you get closure? And if this person is not coming forward here, um, how painful is that? But what I do see here, because we're asking for the next action, is I feel this person is coming forward with a reconciliation, Okay, they're going to come forward, and I feel there is a new beginning here. Okay, and I feel like the new beginning is going to give you guys a chance to experience something again. Now, does this mean you're going to live forever happy ever after? Maybe. I doubt it. I think you're on the next stage. Okay, the next stage development of this connection. Can you guys repeat a cycle? Maybe. Will this person ghost again? Potentially. I'm going to see potential of this connection to see what we see. But I do feel you guys are going to come together again. I do feel you guys are going to have to find a way to overcome this pain. And I do feel like there's, this connection is very healing for both of you guys. Healing childhood. Healing, you know, your soul from experiences that you might have carried for quite some time. And it's hurtful. It's painful when we go through this. We might not know why we're going through it. But... There's a need to become very, very honest with ourselves in order for us to get very clear what we want, who we want, how we spent, want to spend the rest of our life, what sort of partners do we want to commit to. This is the sort of lessons we're learning, you know. Um, do we just 
I don't know, like do motions and commit to certain people who might not be for a greatest good? Is this something that's very honest? Do we have enough insight on ourselves to know how we're engaged and committed here? But I feel both of you guys are learning this, right? And and I feel like this person might be learning insight about why they sabotage, insight, insight about why they did what they did here. And like I said, it is something very painful to you. So I don't know, some of you guys, this person could have cheated, could have lied, could have been ghosted you, could have done something that just it hurt you and and you know um whatever that degree is it could be just this person didn't show up at all didn't care about your feelings in a way to give you an understanding of what their intentions were and then like i said i do feel there is a ghosting or doing something of sabotage here that just ruined it so there will be coming forward here with a new beginning, okay? Uh, emotional new beginning, a practical new beginning here. But I feel like the new beginning doesn't necessarily mean things are completely changed. I just feel it's a new beginning to, I don't know, again, is it going to repeat a cycle until we're honest? Until we get clarity? Until we go fulfill a karmic cycle here? Um, we are going to get crushed. We can get crushed again, okay? So... We have to be honest with ourselves and, and, you know, understand what it is we want. And we also have to be patient in learning lessons here because we're also learning experience here. And learning and experience sometimes means getting crushed by the same thing over and over and over again until a lesson is learned. And I know that sucks, but that's what I see here. So we're asking Spirit for the potential here. What is the potential for Pile 3 in this connection? What is the potential? So we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Sorry, and the Knight of Swords was in reverse as well. Seven of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles in reverse, and the Nine of Cups. I'm only going to pull those. And bottom of the deck, we have the Devil. Oops, devil, yes. Okay, Capricorn energy coming through. Um, potential. Uh, the potential here, I mean, I'm not seeing that it's over, okay? But what I do see here is with the devil here being at the bottom of the deck. Like, there's toxic things here that are happening. And toxic could just be unhealthy ways of being. Stuck, stuck, stuck energy. Because we need to escape our uh, our pain from past childhood we need to understand it we need to come to terms with something we need to be honest with ourselves so i feel like that's your person and i also feel that's with you and you might not see it because i feel like maybe you're focused on your person you're so focused on you know this person and maybe that they're unhealthy or, or in some way or that they're limited by their upbringing or something about them that has them held back but uh what spirit's showing me is there's something here also unhealthy about how you are connecting back to yourself how honest you are with yourself what it is that you deserve and maybe you're learning self-worth what it is you're supposed to commit to you're also spiritually changing here there's a there's quite an inner woven karmic lesson here a soul lesson but i feel like the connection is stuck until you guys learn what you need to learn and so i feel like you know there is a lot of confusion here um that needs to get sorted so that you guys can make the right decision get out of feeling left out in the cold because both of you guys are have the ability to get pull yourselves out but both of you guys keep putting yourselves back in so potential here um i feel the potential is learning experience with one another the potential is to find what does emotional happiness look like to me Nine of Cups, finding your own sort of self-worth, your own, what makes you happy despite someone else. And also learning what battles are worth fighting and which ones aren't. So this is going to take some time, right? Because to break out of devil, we have to understand that there's a lot of illusions here that, that make us feel stuck or make us feel held back that might not necessarily be true. And there's a lot of things that we have to let go of comfort zones okay uh understandings or learn to surrender in order to gain what we want even if that means letting go of someone that we want or something that we want okay and so this is on both sides so maybe this person has to let go of something that has them very very stuck 
and you can't you know detach from this connection i feel there's a lot of obsession and there's a lot of that going on as well um and so is there potential there's definitely potential there there's a need for you guys to experience this together queen of pentacles earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy so i feel like there's a potential to have um to have more develop in this connection, but I feel like the full potential here for self, for you, is to learn an independence about self, to find self-worth, to find what emotionally makes you happy, to be very clear and honest with yourself, to know how many times do we get crushed before we learn to release, surrender, and move towards something that is fulfilling. Take ourselves out of feeling left out in the cold. Choose wisely not stay in confusion okay and and same with your person they're needing to learn all this stuff okay and and this takes a lot here um of healing the whole process but it's like you guys have a vision of what you where you want to be long term and in order to get there there has to be the work that's being done here okay so let's pull some oracle cards and see if we could get a little bit more spirits can we see um the energy here for pile three like what's next here what is next what is the potential what more does pile three need to know about this connection we have stop i was kind of coming in the reverse but i'm reading them all in the up right here we have rest we have anger and we have ideation that's this that's again obsessive intrusive thoughts here maybe you're obsessed with this person you know, this connection might be obsessive, but this is also very unhealthy or someone's putting someone on a pedestal or they're just uh, I, idolizing this connection in some way. OK, but this stop, this anger, like I, I feel like it's like this. It's like something's going to happen and has happened already. And so it's going to give you a period of healing, a period of reflection. You have to process your anger, process hurts in this connection and outside of it. Be honest. And then I feel it's going to be rinse and repeat. Then maybe I come together, maybe make peace. And then it's going to happen where someone gets triggered. You guys are going to have to take a break, stop, reflect, do shadow work, release anger. Kind of like bubbles within us that need to be released when we deal with past things that is trapped within us that we might not recognize until we get triggered. Okay, so this is the devil energy. It's like cyclical. It's also... I need to pause, to detach. So, you know, I feel this is going to be an off, on again, off again, on again, off again thingy um, until lessons are learned, okay? Until you feel your self-worth here or find your self-worth here. But there will be a new beginning. And I feel like this is karmic lessons happening. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean this person's only a karmic. This person definitely is coming up as a soulmate energy. And that could just mean a soul person here who's meant to be teaching a very profound lesson, who's learning a very profound lesson about themselves, okay? So this is what I have here for you guys, and this is as far as I can see. I mean, this doesn't mean this is the, the extent of the full potential, but this is where it's at energetically, where the potential is headed here um, in this connection. So if this resonated for you, then leave a comment, leave a like. I will be pulling... Um, at random from the comment section anyone who subscribed and comments and likes this video for a free private reading one per month this year so hopefully it's you and i will see you soon bye hello my beautiful pile number four you pick the field tarot and we're taking a look at the person on your mind who you came here about and the connection specifically what's happening next energetically what's going to happen next this person have any action towards you um do they plan any action towards you and then the potential of this connection all right so we'll ask spirit for a clear and concise message here for and do you feel it this way beautiful pile number four spirit clear and concise message for pile four for the greatest and highest good of pile four please protect me and the viewer as i channel this message and thank you so much pile four for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time i'm truly blessed thank you so much all right so what's happening next here okay 
read them as they come out. We have the Prince of Swords, Determination in Reverse, which is the Page of Swords. We have the Queen of Discs, that's the Queen of Pentacles with Nurture, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. We have the Page of Wands, Exploration. We have the Page of Cups, Dreams in Reverse. And then we have the Nine of Cups, Fulfillment. We have the Universe, that's the World card. And we have the Chariot in Reverse. So that is Cancer Energy. Why is this Page of Wands here, Spirits? Wow, okay. We have the Queen of Cups in Reverse. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Seven of Cups in Reverse. And we have Perspective, which is the Hangman. And it is in Reverse. And we have the King of Swords with Authority. This is, okay, well, the Hangman is Pisces. I don't know if I just said that. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, let me pull a couple of Oracle cards here. The Lunar Mon card. Two of them. We have Tree and we have Sun. Beautiful. Tree and Sun. So we have the Seven of Cups which is a seven of hearts here. And we have the ace of pentacles. Okay. And pull one of these. What's going on energetically next in this connection spirit? We have 22, cautious heart, having enough wisdom to get back up. And finally, one of these for pile four spirits. What is energetically going on here? We have authenticity. Ten, the energy of authenticity supports our choice to be genuine, truthful in all aspects of our lives with others as well as with ourselves. Okay. Just give me a little bit to tap into this energy. I'm feeling uh, this could certainly, certainly be your energy, okay? Um, if it's your person's, then crisscross, or I guess crisscross the roles, because I'm going to read this as your person, since you're here for your person, but it could be your energy. Yes. Hang on, just sort of give me a second here. I'm picking up both energies, but predominantly one's coming through that I think is your energy, but I'll read that as your, as your person. What's happened here? I feel like, um, you've hit a certain point. You, I, I'm going to read this as you, because I don't know how else to read this here. You hit a certain point here with your person. I feel okay. Uh, your person, um, I feel is kind of not engaged with you in a way that makes you happy. So I feel like you've had to remove yourself. I feel like you've had to not emotionally pour yourself towards this connection. I feel like you've had to stand on your own, learn your self-worth. And I feel like you've had to um, find what makes you happy here. So... I feel like what this has done um, here is make your person have to really figure out what they want for themselves, what it is that is going to make them happy. Because I, I feel like this person might have had to be put in a position here to understand what they're taking for granted here in this connection. And I don't feel as though you pulled your energy away here to, you know, to... Um, make this person sort of realize but i do feel like because of the fact that you felt like this person wasn't promising anything here 
and that they had to deal with certain parts of themselves that you had to pull yourself up and move forward without them. So I feel like you're moving forward without them. Okay, like I said, you can flip roles if this isn't you because this is coming up, you know, this reading was supposed to be about your person. So this could very well be your person, but I just feel like someone's moving forward here because they've had enough because someone didn't move forward. Someone didn't promise any sort of idea of what it is that they wanted. It was fairly imbalanced. So I feel like this person has a lot of love, you know, um, but they are holding their emotions back. Um, they're not wanting to open up anymore here in this connection. And like I said, if it's you, then that's that's you. Because I feel like the lesson here has been one of painful, one that's been painful, and one that hasn't been clear to you. It hasn't been clear as to, you know, what is, does the future hold? Where is this going? And so I feel like you're uh, searching your own happiness and you feel like this person has been very limited. Although I do feel this person's made you very, very happy. I feel this connection brings both of you guys happiness. I feel like there's so much potential here. And I feel there is long-term potential, long-term ability to, to come together. But I feel like this person is having to learn something and understand something. But they've been very, very slow. I feel like there is a dedication to this connection, but I feel like both of you guys are learning authenticity, like who you guys are, what matters to you guys, what truly matters at the end of the day, you know, and, and I feel this is a big lesson for you guys to go through. So what is this person doing that I'm picking up that I'm thinking is you? I, I feel they're moving forward with themselves, you know, they're moving on, they're moving forward. So that they could get clear, so that they could find emotional happiness. And I think what that does is put the other person in a position to have to act, to have to do something. But I don't see action here. I see someone who's like almost stuck in a getting in your way is kind of what I feel. I feel this person's going to get in your way and not want you to move forward. I mean, nobody can make you do anything, but that's kind of how I feel. I feel like this person is going to try whatever they can to stop you from moving forward. That's interesting. Okay, let's take a look at what's um, what's the potential then here. Like, what is the potential in this connection? I, I kind of, yeah, before, I don't know. I, I kind of really want to see what's what this stopping energy is all about coming through. But let me do this and then we'll see what comes through if, if I get the answers I want. If not, then I'm going to do another layer here. But potential here, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. And it says Vibrancy. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Tower. And we have the King of Wands. Look at that. King and Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Leadership the tower in the middle wow okay and then we have the four of pentacles here with stability in reverse we have justice in the middle oh my goodness libra energy and then we have the ace of cups with love and then we have the page of wands with instigation at the bottom I think you're lighting a fire if this if you're resonating with that your energy you're lighting a fire here under this person okay and the fire here is going to cause a tower moment which is this person is going to have to move towards their passion their desire which is this connection and i feel this person has been stuck but i feel it's a tower moment because i, I feel like you cannot stay idle like you have to move on with yourself and i feel the queen of wands is someone who does deserve to bring in happiness who can bring in and manifest what they want and i feel like you feel if you're stuck here you're not able to manifest what you want so i feel like you're planning on releasing this connection in order to find balance to give balance but i don't feel like this person you know um i i know for sure this person does not want to let you go and i feel like this person really lacks the confidence here in doing whatever it takes in the past here to keep you or to move things forward so this triggers a new beginning this triggers a new beginning in love with this ace of cups okay and this triggers also this person to have to really look at self here with this ace of cups this is all about self-love authenticity looking at self 
giving self enough love so that self is confident in what they want so that they could step forward and attain and go after what they want with this page of cups communicate what they want chase an opportunity rather than sit in a very slow stuck energy uh, of non-confidence so i feel like there's a tower moment happening when i ask for potential okay so clearly with energy we can only go so far looking at how energy is sitting and how it's sitting the trajectory of energy is that there will be a tower moment based on your own action if you're resonating with you being the person here who's pulling away you know because you're letting go and i feel you're letting go here um and maybe you were stuck on this connection and hanging on in some way but i feel like there's a need to bring justice balance and things weren't being honest in this connection because there's a need to find authenticity and so I feel like you want to embrace truth and the truth is letting go of this connection is the only way for you to manifest what you want, which is a new beginning. And I do feel it is with this person, although I feel like that's not your intention. I feel like you just want a new beginning in love, even if it's with self and authenticity, but it triggers this person. Capricorn energy, the devil. Yeah, there's unhealthy underlying energy here. Because I feel like this person was not able to step forward, did not do what they were supposed to, did not, you know, close out what they needed to, and they were kind of stuck. And so I feel like you shaking up energy here puts this person in kind of this energy of wanting to hang on to you, wanting to, yeah, hang on to you at all costs here with this devil. I, I don't feel this person is able to let you go. Um... And so they, they have to make a decision that, that puts them at a crossroads. Do they choose this connection or do they choose to continue doing what they do? But I feel this person doesn't have confidence, doesn't understand or have the ability or the leadership here in order to take the one and do what they need to do. And that's also devil. So I feel like this person's having to learn what that means with this authenticity. Okay, now I am going to pull some around this page of pentacles because I feel like this person is... There, there's this energy of, of stunting your movement, and especially because the devil to me is confirming that. It's like getting in the way of you moving forward. So I don't feel this person wants to let you go or is going to let you go here. Um, I mean, nobody can do anything, you know, but I feel like they're going to do whatever in their power to keep you from moving forward. So Spirit, why am I seeing this page of pentacles energy here as something that is getting in the way or stopping pile four for moving forward look at that you have the king of wands coming out again with leadership the hierophant in reverse the five of pentacles and the hermit in reverse so aries leo sagittarius taurus and virgo lots of heavy uh earth and fire in this spread we have the eight of cups with retreat and we have the nine of swords with fear and it's in reverse and the bottom of the deck here we have independence with the queen of swords i'm gonna do it this way in case we gotta read the cards as they come up underneath that okay so this is gemini libra aquarius energy so it's showing the picture here you putting a boundary you getting clear what you want and i feel like you want your independence here from this connection because it's either you stay in a connection that hasn't been moving forward or you lay a boundary and get very certain and clear what you want. And so I feel like this person that's getting in the way here, your person, they're getting in the way of you moving on, you, you know, detaching from them. Because I feel like this person wants to obviously grow, wants to experience happiness with you for the long term here but i feel like this person lacks a lot of leadership like they lack the know-how they lack the confidence because they need to do the inner work with the hermit in reverse they have to do the introspection they have to go within and see that they are capable that there is confidence here self-love what are their self-worth but i feel like this person has to deal with conditioning okay that they've had throughout their lifetime of who they are and what's made them who they are here that i feel has been controlling them up until now and it's controlled them so much that i feel it's getting in the way of this connection so they have to walk away from that 
Okay, this is where emotionally we've might have been invested very heavily in something and then we realize it, it doesn't serve our purpose and we have to walk away. But that takes a lot of introspection and work that knowing that we can, we have the key here to move out of states that don't make us happy, that make us feel left out in the cold. So I feel like your person has to come out of that. But they were feeling very anxious. You know, they had a lot of fear here. This is the nine of swords with fear. This is a lot of mental thoughts here that keeps us stuck fear that keeps us stuck and i think the fear is i'm unable to do something here i don't have the confidence to i'm not good enough to and it's some sort of understanding that they have here that they were conditioned to believe so it keeps them feeling out in the cold so this gets triggered by you laying some sort of boundary and so i i feel like they get in the way here um with this sort of an epiphany of knowing what it is that they need to do in order to keep you in their life because I feel there is an understanding of happiness okay and I do see a very long long term potential here of growth in this connection eight of pentacles in reverse dedication yeah it's like I feel like this person wasn't able to try they just felt like they weren't good enough for you is how I feel here and so I feel like the minute you give up in some way or don't put forward the energy and the effort this shifts the energy here in this connection five of swords in reverse I, I feel like there has been a lot of self-sabotage and just you know them doing whatever they're conditioned to understand of themselves which hasn't brought justice to this connection has brought nothing but pain in this connection and so they're having to really look at where's this fear stemming from you know really take a good look within themselves to say what is it that i want what is true what's untrue what is conditioned within me and why do i feel like i i don't have the confidence to move forward yeah work so this is creating with another what we're unable to create on our own coming together collaborating building okay and in some cases for me in relationship reading this could even mean uh, creating a child coming together to have synergy, to create a, a lifetime together here, okay? It's like build something together, create something together that can stand the test of time with this tree. So I feel like the health of this connection is probably not the greatest right now because this person needs to go through this sort of a process, which I feel they're amidst doing. And I feel with this, you know, have enough wisdom to get back up. I feel like for them, they have to have the, the courage and the strength to face a fear that if they've experienced pain in the past or they've experienced something here that's real to them that keeps them frozen in fear, they're going to have to get back up so that they can engage and find the confidence to engage. But I also feel this is for you because I feel like this person might have really crapped the bed here and you might not want to give this person so much a chance here because you don't want to hurt, get hurt. Okay, so there's, uh, there's this having to get back up in order to come together because if we don't forgive this person um you know how could we ever make things work now i'm not saying you have to forgive them if they've done something here you don't want to forgive but if you're coming together with them there's a need for you to understand how do you get back up how do you heal from this how do you work with this person how can you move forward with this person so yeah confidence falling in the reverse right on top of this king of wands i'm going to leave it exactly like that Okay, that's what I was picking up with that King of Wands in reverse. And I mean, the King of Wands has so many different attributes, right? But the, the, the thing that kept coming through was this person's inability to take leadership. They're, they're not confident in themselves. I feel like this person feels like you're too good for them in some way. And they're incapable of doing what they need to do. Lots of sadness. Yes. And I felt that this person feels sad. They don't want you to leave. Peace. That was coming in reverse. So... The person wants to find peace, lots of passion. Yes, that was also devil energy. I feel like your person is very passionate about you. I feel you're passionate about this person, but I feel there's a real need for them to really look at self, really deal with something that they believe here that's making them feel like they lack the confidence here to step forward. Okay, and, and I feel like sometimes, unfortunately, it takes us getting very clear what we want and putting boundaries and, and communicating what we want for ourselves to ourselves in order for us to move towards that, that triggers, you know, a fire under this person to deal with fear, to come out of five of pentacles in order for you guys to find peace, to find a long term, to find happiness here together, because I really feel like this person 
does not want you out of their life. And I also feel like, you know, you've been sad that this person hasn't been able to find the confidence and they've been sad that they haven't been able to show up here in this connection for you. So it's caused nothing but an inability to come together to, you know, energetically share and build and create and nothing but five of swords up until now. So the true version of yourselves is coming out here with the authenticity. Okay. This is being genuine, being honest, being truthful in our own lives. And so I feel like once you guys are able to do this, then there's an understanding here and an ability to come together. So this is what I see kind of happening ne happening next and what you guys are kind of going through here. And this is as far into the future I can possibly pull. Hopefully this resonated for you. Like I said, you might have to flip roles if that more sounded like your person, not you. That could be the case. All right. I hope this resonated. I love you guys very, very much. I will see you soon. Bye.